The Pride March was held in the Georgian capital Tbilisi in support of the LGBT plus community. Opponents of this action held their event as well. It all ended with beating of journalists and death of the cameraman. Organizers of the Pride March were forced to cancel their event. Two days later, opponents of the action lowered and burned the flag of the European Union near the Georgian parliament. The burning of the EU symbol was called a barbarism in Brussels. Charles Michel, president of the European Council, went to Batumi to understand the situation. Georgian President Salome Zurabishvili was able to convince him of invariability of support for European integration in Georgia. Today is a very important day for Georgia's European future. Thank you, President of the European Council, for taking part in this. More EU in Georgia is a strong message for our progress and our development, a message that remains unchanged despite all challenges. Despite these problems, the European Union continues its assistance to Tbilisi to develop the country's legal system. There were some successes, for instance, uh, you, know, you know, there was uh, several laws passed um, about uh, integration of minorities, which was not so uh, easy, especially uh, if you understand the Georgian context very well, because Georgia is a conservative orthodox country, and it was not so easy for parliament to pass this law. So it was passed uh, quite uh, a long time ago, but the implementation part of this law is very difficult. In Batumi, both Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Moldovan President Maya Sandu spoke about their country's desire to become EU members. The leaders met for the first time in a format of the associated trio. The plans of our state, Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova, are focused on the goal. This is obtaining membership in the European Union. This is why the associated trio was created this year. This is not an alternative to Eastern Partnership. This is the most advanced part of the Eastern Partnership, which desires works and is ready for more in relations with the European Union. Moreover, the three presidents have signed the Batumi Declaration. In the document, the countries guarantee each other assistance in implementing the reforms necessary for association with the EU, and joining the European Union was called the only future for the three states. I think this new format is very important for three countries because, as you know, the Eastern Partnership in classical sense collapsed, especially after Belarus uh, basically withdrew, withdrawn from this format and, as you know, Armenia and Azerbaijan are not so keen uh, to join European integration. So that's why I think it's very highly important that these three countries now establish this associated trio, uh, which will enable them to work together and uh, also to, um, uh, to work with the European partners uh, to get much closer to European Union. The associated trio will have the opportunity to meet with the EU leadership at the Eastern Partnership Summit in December. At this meeting, leaders of Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova want to hear facts about the prospects of the three countries' membership in the EU. Brussels said that by December they will prepare an investment package for the countries of the Eastern Partnership in the amount of more than 2 billion euros to promote reforms. Reported by Vadim Kramer, Artem Holub and Karina Samakhvalova, UATV News.